Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're going to be reviewing Jaws on future pinball today. Great looking game. Wow. Man. Anyway, please look for a review underneath the description of our YouTube videos, as well as like and follow us on our social media formats. Facebook, Arcade and Pinball Talk under Groups, Instagram, Twitter. Click that red subscribe button. You know you want to. If you're a pinball player, arcade, or mechanical, click that button. Help a brother out. Let's get this review underway, shall we? See if we can engage that again, which we did. Let's see if we can do it again. So far, so good. First impressions, it's Jaws. I mean, you can't really beat that, can you? So many rumors going around about Jaws right now. Obviously, they, they're coming out, they came out with Jaws on, on Steam and, uh, and Zen. And this is the future pinball version of it. Pretty cool. It's got some humbling music to it. And of course, you got the uh, tenacious jaw sound upon uh, hitting hitting jaws. So far, so good. Very nice. Uh, artwork looks great. Soundtrack is a little quirky, but it's working for it. Sound bites are good. Flipper gap's not too bad. So jumping into table mechanics, uh, in lane left right, out lane left right, with some uh, with some targets. Wrapping around the left, you got a multi-ball when lit area where to the left you can go up into that little area there. You got an orbit to the right of that. You have a ramp that says jaws, two jaws right there. You got a little lane with a pop target, drop target that's there. It says activate lock going up through some mushroom bumpers. Some targets to the center to activate lock. Ramp to the right. You have another little area which is a lane that goes all the way around which is the orbit and uh, some rollovers and that is about it folks i mean simplicity at its finest and so that's where the ball entered in for the multi-ball which is a it's a scoop for all intents and purposes on this game i will call it a scoop because it looks like a scoop could be a kick out let's see it again let's test it start multi-ball that's a scoop so anyway it doesn't look like one when you're first playing it but i gotta tell you that's it's acting like a scoop uh, the visuals on this game are awesome. The DMD is beautiful. You hear the sound bites. You got the water in the background. You got the boat on the DMD. You know, you can see the fin going through it. I mean, it, it's really laid out good. Apron art's good. So the art package is delivering. It's Jaws. Uh, theme, it's Jaws. Man, soundtrack. Uh, I, you know, I would have actually liked it if there was any kind of improvement on this. I would have liked it to have been not only quirky like it is right now, but I would have liked for it to be a little bit more ominous. And so I'm not quite sure. Like, I mean, all these little tidbits and all these different little data feeds and, and DMD kind of things are showing, you know, Jaws attacking the ship, jumping up on it, and then we got this quirky kind of music playing in the background, which is not bad. It's like a, you know, Gilligan's Island skipper or something. But with that said, if it, if it could be a little bit more ominous, you know, with with the classic, dun, dun, you know, in there and just made it a little bit more that way, I think it would have really... Uh, set this table off. It's already good as it is, but just a recommendation to the designer. And by the way, whoever designed this did a great job. Looks great. Insert lights look good. They're they're activated very well. They seem to be uh, locking into the mode. So obviously going over the modes here, you got barrel multi-ball. Multi-ball is lit going up to Jaws, so we're in lock right now. You have Bruce multi-ball, Orca multi-ball, and then of course multi-ball is lit going up the ramp. And so we're trying to activate those locks right now to get through that piece. Of course, balled out before we can do that, but that's okay. All in all, replayability on this. Replayability, absolutely there. Fun factor, there. 
soundtrack could be better. Sound bites, call outs, they're good. Flipper gap, not too bad. Replayability, high. Fun factor, high. So this one will get a pretty decent score. It's actually put together very well. And worth playing. Actually, I must play, actually. I mean, you want to talk about future pinball at this point. I mean, Gremlins so far blew my, my doors off. I love Gremlins on there. And Jaws is just as good. No ball speed on this is moderate. Difficulty, difficulty is is also moderate. So we were able to obviously activate the Orca multi-ball and lost all the balls before we could do anything with them. How typical. Uh, ramps, uh, really not that bad. Left ramp to jaws, simple. Uh, right ramp's not too bad either. It's moderate. It's not super hard. But as you can see, it, it, it bounces around getting up there. So it, it just makes it, it slows down the ball just a little bit. It's not super, see, did it again. So it's, it's just one of those things. If I hit that ramp two more times, I get the Orca multi-ball. I tried. It was worth a shot. We'll see if we can do it again. Nope. Okay, we'll take it. Go again. Boom. Okay. But anyway, all in all, great, great game. Check it out. Future Pinball, Jaws, absolutely must play. Find it, play it, enjoy it. You're going to love it. Go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below. Uh, if you love pinball, click it. Also, please follow us on all our social media formats. Thank you for watching today. We look forward to our next video with you guys. Thank you again for your time.